Hey guys, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and um, this video is going to be just like a little prequel or like a little bonus video. I'm getting ready to um, start my new round of 2012 uh, malware removal videos and um, I just posted something on my blog. Um, you can read more about these tests at uh, remove-malware.com there's a post on there. Uh, I posted it on 2:22, um, and it goes through all of the uh, of uh, the different things I'm going to be testing and how I'm going to be testing. Um, all the little details are up there. But anyway, <clears throat> what I'm doing in this video is I'm just going to go ahead and get my uh, virtual machine going here. So this is uh, before Norton Internet Security. We're going to start off with a pretty much a, a blank virtual machine. It's just going to be uh, Windows 7. And uh, we're just going to go out and infect it with a series of uh, mostly Trojans and, and uh, fake AVs. So um, while this is restoring, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pause this. Be right back. Okay. So like my post said on uh, my blog, I was going to go ahead and infect myself or my virtual machine with a bunch of Trojans and basically anything I could find. So all I'm going to go do is uh, I'm going to the malware domain list uh, slash mdl.php and I'll grab uh, whatever entries I can find and see how bad I can mess this thing up. So anybody can really do this. Uh, we can go to whatever uh, whatever malware site wherever you can get your samples from and just infect your virtual machine it's uh, not that difficult this machine I'm working on right now is probably eh, probably about two months behind on Windows updates and um, it's a lot of fun to infect a machine I do have this virtual machine running on um, what they call a VLAN so it's separate from my home network so I don't really need to worry about infecting the rest of the house. A lot of these links on the malware domain list are just dead or they don't resolve anything like that. So it can take quite a while to infect your machine. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you know, normally you think it's so easy to get infected. How do these people get infected with whatever? But uh a lot of these are dead now so um, after I'm done with the malware domain list I'll head over to malcode and um, then there's a few other sites where I go to get my rootkit um, zero access samples from so this is just kind of a sample of what I have to go through whenever I set up these videos not exactly <laughs> it's not exactly exciting as you can tell um, uh, let's see so when you get one of these you have to click more information disregard and continue and see if you can get your malware as you can see not that easy so nothing really happens there just keep working our way around the list here and with any luck we'll be infected soon <laughs> yeah this PC shouldn't have anything yeah it's just it's by downloading Windows updates or something like that let's shoot for this uh, Zeus version 1 Trojan Here we go. Yippee. So, so what will happen is if you're using a recent browser, um, this has already been caught basically by Microsoft. You want to go to Actions, uh, More Options, and Run Anyway. And see if you can catch it in your normal task uh, 
task manager. It's always a plus. Let's see if we can see something here going on. I usually just arrange by um, CPU. So SV, SVC host is doing something, but that could be because of uh, Windows updates as well. So tough to say. All right. So looks like we got a Zeus version one on there. And let's get some random Trojan. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try and see if it's alive. We'll go ahead and try to run search. Some uh, miscellaneous Trojan. It's not really listed what it is. Actions. More options. Run anyway. Yippee! So once I get enough malware on here, I'll take a snapshot, and that snapshot will be called infected. Uh, infected with a date. Okay, I'm going to move on here. So the PC is getting much slower. The virtual machine. Uh, it's not uh, responding as fast at all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start from the top again. Try this. Uh, no, I think I tried that. Try a few of these exploit kits. Let's see if any of them run. I'm sure there's this PC's been updated with some updates. I don't think it has Java or anything like that, so yeah, those probably won't work. So I'm starting to get some crashes now. Got at least two Trojans on here that I know for sure. Uh, let's see if we can find a Zeus version 2, which is right here. Hopefully we can get it. It's a dot .ru, so that should go. Basically, when you're trying to infect your virtual machine, you want to avoid dot .coms, dot .nets, dot .orgs. Those usually get cleaned up pretty quick. Um, so this was already blocked by smart screen, and it's blocked uh, pretty hardcore. We'll try to download the unsafe program. And uh, it's just getting getting dog slow now. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna move on here. So I'll go ahead and go back. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I can. Something's brewing here. Yeah, so this thing, um, well, it's getting a little unmanageable now. So I guess I'll have to cut this video off at this point. You get the idea. I'm basically, uh, I'm here, I'm testing 2012 removal capabilities of any and all anti-malware, antivirus applications. And I'm busy infecting my machine. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, Norton antivirus and we're going to see how it does uh, removing um, all the malware on this machine and getting this machine back to a usable state. For more details uh, just go ahead and visit remove-malware.com again I uh, placed a post on 2-22-2012 uh, discussing um, how I'm going to be testing uh, these anti-malware antivirus applications for removal so 
Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you on in a variety of ways here. Um, now all I need to do is figure out how to stop this damn video here. Oh, here we go.